When adding and subtracting decimals, the key is to line up all your place values. Or in other words, if you line up your decimals, it will force your place values, same place values in each number, to line up with one another. And it's a good idea to line them up vertically. Then you just add or subtract as usual. In this first example, I have 254 and 1 tenth plus 69 and 8,476 ten thousandths. So the first thing I want to do is write these two numbers and line up their decimals. And if it helps, you can use zeros as placeholders to line up all your place values that go together. And this is really the key to adding and subtracting. And then you just add as normal to get 323 and 9,476 ten thousandths. The same rules apply for subtraction, so why don't you give this one a try? Remember that whenever you have a whole number, where is your decimal? It's at the end. It's understood. So for 7,000, this is the same thing as 7,000.0, or 7,000 with the decimal point at the end. So line up these decimals and subtract. Here's what your problem should look like when you lined up your decimal. Here's what your problem should look like once you line up your decimals. Then just subtract. Now you may need a little reminder about how to borrow, so I'm going to help you out here in case you need that reminder. No biggie if you do. So we're going to try to take away 8 from 0, and so what we're going to do is borrow from the previous number, but it's a 0, so we can't borrow from it. So basically we go all the way back to the 7, and we borrow 1 from the 7 to make it a 6, which allows us to make that 0 following it a 10. We borrow from that, which makes it a 9, so this one can become a 10. We borrow from that, so this one becomes a 9, which makes this one a 10. And you just keep doing that all the way down except this one right here gets to stay a 10 because when we borrowed we were able to borrow it and make it a 10 when we borrowed from the previous 0 and that's when that one was a 10 and became a 9. Okay, so quick review there. So when you subtract you should end up with 6,999.997002. Go to the next page and complete problems 1 and 2, and then check back. Here are the solutions. Pause and check your steps and answers. Go ahead and scroll to the next page and try these two problems. Here are the steps and answers. Please pause and check yours. Scroll to the next page and try numbers 5 and 6. Here are the steps and answers. Scroll to the last page and try 7 and 8. Here are the steps and answers.